Good afternoon, dear friends. I wanted to have all our guests with us, but nevertheless, we should respect those people who came on time and start our discussions. The discussion on what the inner police, what is it? A new town which recently sprang up near Kazan. I hope uh, the ladies will add something to our men's table. I, my name is Mitrofanov, I am the founder of Mitrofanov Partners Company and I am a managing partner of Pulsar Nation Capital from Kazan. At this round table we have at least two representatives from Innopolis. That is Nosov, the head of the Special Economic Zone of Innopolis and Bogudinov, advisor to the mayor of Innopolis. One of one of uh, Pyle Agus is uh, nearly a resident of Annapolis. He is general director of Open Mobile Platform Company. It will be interesting to learn from him uh, something new. And Mr. Tikhonov, president of Tyson Ru Company, he is going to discuss why he thinks whether he should accede to Annapolis or not. Uh, Daniel Kozlov, director of GVA, will join us very soon. He represents the venture industry. He will tell us uh, what investors expect from Innopolis. We'll start with a brief introduction. What is Innopolis town? I'm passing the floor to Igor Inosov in a matter of 30 seconds. I visited Innopolis uh, six months ago. It is not just a construction site. There are people there, not only construction workers. I visited the university. They spent five year, days there. I looked at it not as a resident, but a person from a site. Could you describe the story of Napolis to us? And uh, what is the status? Thank you, Sergei. Uh, I'm very pleased that in Napolis issue is a hot topic at this forum. And I am doubly pleased that Tatarstan uh, well, uh, is often mentioned in this forum. I am not afraid that Tatarstan uh, will be more often mentioned than Moscow. If people talk about its investment attractiveness, investment highlights, it will be very good for us. It is important to create a critical mass and create the new traditions. A few words about Tatarstan. If Tatarstan today is a region number one in terms of investment attractiveness for foreign investors. It's number one uh, in their innovative ranking. Uh, the uh, yes, you've outpaced Moscow. Uh, well, ask the people who made the ranking table about that. Yesterday, I received a message that Colorado Journal recognized Kazan as the most creative city in uh, Russia. Here we outpaced uh, Moscow and there was a special mention made of Annapolis, although we're not part of Kazan, but we're somehow affiliated to it. Tatarstan is a big and active region with huge potential. If you look back at 15 years, 15 years ago in Tatarstan we saw emerging uh, logical understanding that a region with a high share of oil and gas and petrochemical industries economics should think about of diversification. And the government of the Republic started to work in a very systemic manner towards diversification of our economy. And in Napolis is that cherry on our tart. Recently, we celebrated 10th anniversary of Yalaboga. That's the first special economic zone. It's a special project for me personally. Alaboga today is the largest innovation hub. After Alaboga, when Tatarstan learned the ropes, uh, Kazan IT Park emerged. It's the next place in downtown Kazan where there is the highest concentration of students, colleges and creative thought. IT Park became a project number one and now 
It's the largest park of this type in Eastern Europe and the most successful IT park in Russia. <coughs> in Nepalis, if I remember correctly, there was some military establishment uh, uh, in the area where uh, this IT park is. In Nepalis, did not emerge overnight. If we say that it's just a year, it's correct. But a result of a uh, concentrated, focused work of the Republic of Tatarstan and the government of Russia. And four years ago, in a very beautiful place, where uh, in the confluent of Volga and Viaga, uh, several trucks came, set up a temporary stage. There were some volunteers. They put an a uh, concrete plate and the Prime Minister of Russia, Mr. Medvedev, and jointly with Minikhanov and Nikiforov, uh, buried a capsule of the future project. It was just four years ago. In order to, uh, to leave more time for Q&A today, we made a, a minute and a half presentation of what has been done uh, starting from the capsule to uh, to the time where the capsule was buried to the current moment. <laughs> this is the time when this capsule is buried with a message to future generations. This is the building of the first of Technopark, where we have some resident companies already working, including those who are present here. Social infrastructure is in place. Two kindergartens, a school, a fire station, all energy for the Underground passages, uh, 200 kilometers of uh, engineering uh, corridors, and the, uh, the main building of the university. At the background, we have the hostel of the university. Uh, as of the moment of the first uh, brick installation, uh, plus uh, the launch of the new city, three years have passed, uh, and so they uh, embedded uh, the design, all the documentation, uh, the expert review, and uh, this is one of the uh, most uh, uh, s s the actually the fastest uh, uh, ever implemented the project uh, for construction in Russia. So we had the, the idea, we had citizens involvement, traditions, uh, and when the city was uh, close uh, to the uh, completion of the construction, so uh, the mayor was uh, selected and self-government bodies were uh, appointed. Uh, that is how we get developed, uh, and that was how the urban uh, uh, development was completed and uh, our colleagues will tell you later how traditions uh, are uh, created and we are in the midst uh, of a very interesting event so legally it's a new town and all the citizens uh, uh, from school children up to the adults uh, are the residents of that uh, place and so 
everyone is keen on a very interesting topic uh, to create the traditions of uh, the city. And uh, this is a very noble task. And we are all supposed to achieve it. And uh, Igor, uh, you put a, uh, just a breach to Maratov. Uh, and uh, we really uh, were so much interested uh, in uh, the Annapolis uh, University where children were going back and forth and we are uh, more interested uh, uh, in having other types uh, of the audience. Uh, and uh, um, Marat, uh, for the first time, uh, you've mentioned uh, the history and uh, what are you doing now? What Enopolis is doing? What do you expect in the future? Sergey, thank you very much. Uh, and I would like uh, to congratulate you on behalf of uh, the uh, City Hall of Enopolis. And uh, the child, children of Enopolis are not accompanied uh, by uh, their parents. And we are the youngest city, and we're the most safest and, uh, and secure city. And so we are going uh, to discuss it further so uh, not to overload you with information and uh, to make our discussion a more fruitful one. Okay, I'll start from the transport accessibility. Kazan is about uh, 800 kilometers away and uh, we are placed 45 minutes of drive on the car and we are sometimes associated with the outskirts of Kazan, but that is not true. We are the municipal entity. We are a standalone city with all our infrastructure and traditions. So the access uh, to the city is getting better and better, and uh, new uh, roads will be constructed, and uh, we are, are supposed to have not 45, but 35 minutes uh, of access uh, to Annapolis. And we will have a very robust connection with Kazan. And altogether, we have 10 so quite a number of densely populated cities and towns around Kazan and close to Innapolis. About 50% of population live here and in that area. And uh, indeed, the university is the key um, uh, facility and a special economic zone actually create that rich fabric of life we are all enjoying. And uh, if we speak in general terms about the city, and the plants we've been developing, so 155,000 people uh, are located at the territory of 1,200 hectares. And that is 100 preparedness of the infrastructure to place 5,000 people. And if 5,000 residents are on board, so we will have a chance uh, to uh, locate them all in the cities, uh, in the city, and in the offices of the company. And the uh, inhabitants of this place will feel really comfortable. So we can uh, just locate uh, 5,000 people just overnight. And the students were the first adults uh, of that place. And now this uh, trend is leveling off. And originally, they were uh, the bulk of the adolescent population of this city. And, and, and originally, the Innapolis University was located in Kazan. Nowadays, it's relocated. We have 16 labs, uh, international professors and tutors, grants, uh, students, uh, 350 people. And uh, we're going uh, to have them more uh, next month. At least uh, this uh, number will be doubled. And the infrastructure we are 
uh, we have in place uh, will be suffice for 4,000 uh, bachelors and uh, 200 uh, masters uh, plus 500 uh, professors and associate professors. The university is the uh, place uh, to uh, just uh, create uh, the town around it, and it will be our uh, HR shield, and uh, uh, it will generate uh, the residents of the city. And if we speak about Inopolis as one of the most active places for all kinds, one of the active venues for all kinds of uh, uh, events, so I should say that uh, we have quite a number of conferences to be held there, uh, and uh, so it is very actively uh, uh, positioning itself as the IT conferences, IT meetings, and the IT um, uh, milestones development. So the key uh, indicator, the KPI, is embedded uh, um, on the quality of life of our uh, citizens, and uh, we really have to achieve that goal. And it is a fundamental objective to us. And we have to create some kind of uh, a venue uh, to have everything of a very high quality. And uh, that is an alternative to stay in Russia and not to migrate uh, to other countries. Uh, I mean among the scholars uh, uh, of uh, IT and high tech. What do we have here? We have the educational component. We have kindergartens. We have schools and secondary schools, IT uh, lyceum for uh, gifted uh, students. Uh, we uh, also have uh, a ramified network, uh, ramified transport network uh, uh, to go to Kazan, and uh, we have the residential housing areas, and uh, so we uh, lease the space for 7,000 uh, rubles uh, for the company's residents and for the staff of the company's uh, residents. We have the concept service, and uh, uh, all the year round, uh, it serves the needs uh, of the residential area from uh, starting from pizza uh, order uh, uh, then and to just uh, uh, putting uh, our children into a specific kindergarten. So it is all done electronically. And uh, so already we have some urban traditions. Uh, in the in that uh, small place uh, and for example you may directly uh, put a question to the mayor of the city and he is supposed to answer right away and uh, that is an absolutely uh, complete control uh, as to their complaints and applications, and you may use the electronic address and get an automated answer. And uh, you may ask uh, them. Uh, you may ask uh, to say a few words about uh, the business opening, and you will have a ticketed advice on what needs to be done and where your letter is forwarded further. And that is how we view our town and uh, some white flags are put onto the facilities already operational and this is a full-fledged uh, urban area of Russia and the uh, specialists uh, wake up uh, uh, go to the kindergarten uh, spend their time in uh, the office and then visit some uh, recreational uh, facilities of the city. We only have one store, uh, Behetle, when I was there in May, but uh, the number of people uh, is not that uh, uh, enormous because uh, the representatives of Inopolis, uh, uh, well, present a very uh, appealing picture on their town. Really, you have to uh, just uh, have all the approvals and concurrals in order to become the resident. Uh, what are those privileges uh, of uh, the people 
uh, who come to live in Annapolis. What kind of benefits do you provide? In Moscow, everything is closed. At least you stay one hour in a traffic jam, and that's it. And it is, uh, as the head of the company, uh, I would uh, suggest to ask people what what is their opinion on that score. And I would like uh, to make some kind of an introduction. Um, our company is keen on a very interesting project. Uh, I should say it's a very sophisticated project. And that is uh, the home-made mobile operational system. And we need some specific type of personnel. And there are not so many projects of that type in Russia. And the, uh, the personnel hired uh, is a really specific one with quite a list of requirements. And uh, on a preliminary basis, we analyzed uh, the program of recruitment. And uh, it was real-time tested. The process and it is uh, real hard uh, to hire uh, young specialists uh, as they have no relevant experience uh, for in the sphere of architecture, for example. But if we hire specialists of the average level, uh, but of a senior age, uh, the well. Uh, also, it will be a problem for the project as the people have no drive and uh, at this uh, age. And so hereby uh, we uh, decided to hire not so young specialists, not of course students, uh, who are prepared to do everything and to go everywhere. And so they just uh, ready to go to Vinopolis, uh, abroad, and to other areas. And we found uh, some kind of an average age the people. And they've just uh, uh, got married. They had uh, s s just uh, little children. But they have no housing of their own, no cars. They have a family, but they have no uh, just substantial uh, uh, benefits, material uh, benefits. So Innopolis for them is a unique opportunity. And it is perceived uh, uh, by them in a somewhat different way. They say, well, it's, it's cool. Looks like uh, I am going to relocate and I will have uh, an apartment infrastructure with a kindergarten. And uh, strategically, I resolve uh, quite a number of tasks uh, for the years to come. And uh, we jointly with the mayor uh, show some facilities to them. And uh, on Friday, oh no, on Wednesday, the one uh, of the the uh, designers visited this uh, facilities and uh, here uh, was uh, really guided by the drive. Um, he saw all the brochures about uh, the city and he was kind of uh, agitated. Uh, in practical terms, the pictures uh, do not reflect people. Uh, but once you come to the kindergarten, you see p children here go going back and forth, and you see how they are treated. You see the, the teacher of school, and this uh, community uh, energetically uh, just uh, serves as a center of gravity. Uh, sometimes when you have a neighbor, you uh, may not necessarily uh, be uh, tuned on to one and the same business. Uh, but here they have the whole uh, just the house of IT people, and the people are uh, focused on one and the same business. And they have common interests, and which is really essential for us. And uh, these are people who are no longer young specialists, but they still have a drive, and they still have a thrill and excitement for some specific projects. They have a family. They have lots of things they need in, that, in this life. So he, in five uh, minutes, once you leave the house in Innopolis, uh, you uh, just put your child onto the kindergarten, and then you go to sports club, 
uh, fitness club, then yeah, they go to the office, and then Ma Moscow's uh, resident uh, is, is still on the way to work. And that's how it ha happens. And uh, uh, then he goes to work, and uh, in the evening, and when people feel it, uh, we do not talk them into. And uh, they tended uh, to think that it's a very good offer. And we have just a, a set of uh, privileges for Moscow and a set of uh, privileges for Innopolis. And the lifestyle and the quality and uh, all other benefits uh, are uh, in favor of uh, Innopolis. But the taxes and uh, tax privileges could be regulated and uh, streamlined. And that is the econ economic zone, specific, special economic zone. This is their project, and they have low taxes and another uh, quality of life. And that is an absolutely different quality of life. And uh, let me just introduce uh, uh, the another idea. I spent uh, all my life in Moscow. And uh, the cost of uh, life in Moscow uh, is absolutely different. Uh, uh, five, uh, seven, seven thousand uh, of rental of rent is nothing. So a Moscovite uh, uh, pays uh, enormous, uh, uh, I should say, a fortune uh, for the um, rented space uh, to. Uh, so two uh, uh, an apartment uh, of two rooms uh, uh, is uh, ten thousand in Innopolis. Uh, in Kazan and in other cities and towns, objectively, the salaries are lower, but you get much more for that very salary than in major cities and towns, and you have a higher level of uh, lifestyle and uh, you uh, pay less uh, to the personnel. They are really healthy and wealthy. They go to the fitness center. It is a part of a large project. And it's also worthy to mention uh, the uh, specific nature of this economic zone. Uh, before that, uh, we discussed it that we have to construct housing, hospitals, and uh, social sector facilities. But uh, and I, I had to explain uh, to the big bosses how essential it is uh, to have the social infrastructure. And so once residents come, developers uh, will construct uh, the uh, housing. And of course, uh, uh, they, they actually did it, but uh, three or four years ago, we were heard. And the first housing and the objects of the social infrastructure were launched before uh, the techno park, per se. And the good life conditions uh, were created prior to the relocation of uh, residents. And that is a distinctive feature of the special economic zone. Uh, we used to have a prayer project, uh, Pure Science City, that was a Swedish uh, uh, scientific center. It was a technological university, entrepreneur's business, and uh, startup projects. Uh, so I uh, anchor residents as uh, large global companies, uh, and uh, it was really essential. And I would like to ask Andre. So far, you are not a resident. You are not uh, uh, permanently residing in Annapolis. Uh, what is so attractive about Annapolis? Good infrastructure, but you cannot bring everybody here. Of course, in Kazan, uh, there are quite a number of uh, specialists, but you would like um, to be a part of a strong team of uh, players. And what is your opinion? 
What else uh, to be added uh, to this uh, wonderful picture of uh, Innapolis? From the perspective of the entrepreneur, as a sort of outside observer, I was at that briefing and there for the first time we met at the session of smart cities. What attracted me most? There is such a thing as competitiveness of a city. All cities compete for talents, for orders, and for a lot of other things. And innovative towns compete between themselves. There are plenty of projects across the world. There are examples in the East. Uh, there is a there is another example like look at Cambridge a university is based on innovations which were uh, made during hundreds of years and another example Albany Nanotech where New York State in America created a cluster for 28 nanometers of technology, a full range of products which pushed forward the electronic industry. Such projects are focused projects financed by the government and are intended to attract a lot of talents. Competitiveness of a city is determined by a variety of parameters. Most of them are on the screen. The first one is security and second is comfort and cheapness maybe from this perspective enormous work has been done you won't find another competitor for Innopolis maybe Tomsk it's quite a conscientious policy in Nanopolis first they created infrastructure for living and then the rest and thirdly, the possibility to earn something. A free economic zone means investment, grants, etc. All three key components are there, and they determine competitiveness of the city. You need to create a product which will be competitive. If there, it is not there, well, er, then uh, the approach was a correct one. Er, implementation of whatever technologies was a quite great issue. Start innovations from yourself. It's a new model of a network where in the most difficultly packed city environment you can create a new generation of M to M Internet things. Start with yourself one base station for Innopolis it will be enough for the time being currently is the most interesting technologies from M to M from Internet things uh, a sensor can work for 10 years on AA battery uh, it can be easily put to idle mode smart metering etc Uh, in Kazan, we saw the first realization of smart metering on SIM cards from the perspective of uh, realization of new internet formats, a very good thing to test everything on yourself. I'm concerned that that citizens of Annapolis will never leave the city because there is so much technology there. And the third thing, the city is not a conventional, but it is a representative, 155,000 people. It's a good average size city, based on which you can test best practices. Annapolis has all chances to become a new best practice in uh, Russia as the city of the future. Thank you, Andrew. Daniel Kozov, General Director, UTV Launch Guru, Launch Guru. 
You've said that Innopolis and colleagues represented the city said that is one of the key organizations which exist in the city. I have two questions to you. University Innovative System and you represent a venture fund. From an uh, investor's perspective, from the venture market, what is your view of Innopolis? Thank you, Sergey. Effectively, because three years ago I recollect how we put together the concept of a proposal for University of Annapolis and the study you've done. <clears throat> it's very interesting to see how our original ideas are now alive and are embodied in uh, metal and concrete. And it was done surprisingly fast. It's very nice. On the other hand, I believe that university, a strong university and an international university can be an anchor point in any innovative ecosystem. We looked at Albany, Palo Alto, where Stanford is an anchor, and we want Innopolis University to become a sort of anchor. It's very interesting and necessary that it will be an international university. It's very good that there are international professors there, and we need more expats there, people who worked in other countries and who return with their experience here in this country. As for innovative environment, the university will produce a certain amount of uh, entrepreneurs. It will be not the, the only source of entrepreneurs for this enterprise. But when we talk about innovative environments, you should compare it. You should compare it to other Innopolis for which you will c compete for other people. There is Kazan and there are clusters of innovations. Moscow in on the top 20 list of innovation clusters according to different ranking tables. Should we compete it directly since there are about uh, 20 accelerators, 14 incubators in Moscow. But should you compete them along some profile areas? Yes, you can do that. One of such areas is uh, the thing which is related to infrastructure resources that Innopolis could provide, for example, labs. Even in Moscow and in uh, St. Pete, there is a shortage of labs for biotechnologies for micro-electro-transport and energy sector and industry uh, 0.4 in general. Then uh, if you look at this uh, industry as a whole, you should search for startups and offer them lab environment where they can put some together. They can raise investment from different funds, some knowledge. There are some accelerators, probably you should launch another accelerating program for people to feel its environment. But from this perspective, for what will be attractive to entrepreneur, you should differentiate, you should draw in line. You should move, move towards entrepreneurship where you are able to provide a unique infrastructure. The second thing which will be interesting to entrepreneurs from my perspective and investor, if you look at investment, that's international environment. We are not <coughs> living in a closed world, and Nepal should not be a closed system. It should be a more open ecosystem than Moscow, than any other city in Russia. And involvement of investors from other countries, maybe businessmen from other countries, maybe through virtual communications, weekly seminars and workshops with different countries, etc. Maybe Nanopoly Suju China or Stanford USA. It is a necessity and through which sessions, maybe physical sessions, uh, people will come here and build relations and help companies which are born in Nanopolis and developed here. Because currently uh, real entrepreneurs look at global environment, not local environment. If you create such an environment, it will be a dif differentiating factor which will help you to attract investors and startups. Investors also look for colleagues abroad 
And thirdly, we've mentioned that already, it's another factor, it's that comfortable, innovative environment. Which is, uh, which is designated for entrepreneurs and investors. So once I come to this uh, city, I see not only the infrastructure, but also some innovations. And I see not just uh, uh, get uh, tax taxi, but real car sharing. Uh, yeah, already we're supposed to have uh, the driver's free taxes for Annapolis, and in five years we will have cars driving themselves. And uh, we also have some integrated uh, smart uh, chips, and uh, I may uh, just uh, con be connected with them. Uh, that will be a smart environment. And uh, we set a balance. Uh, uh, we really have to look for uh, an, an interesting people, for entrepreneurs uh, who may launch some innovative concepts, and we have to invite them uh, more uh, often. And uh, maybe part of the uh, tutors and professors sitting here in the audience do not know anything about it. Maybe they will be interested. And uh, let's have the technology uh, not in Moscow alone, but in the uh, our pl uh, and in our place. And investors like such places. And from the perspective of investors, we're supposed to, to have uh, some kind of a club, uh, the venue, sport, uh, to have some kind of communication of experts between experts and entrepreneurs and that should have an international context and we really have to be real friendly with all these people coming from abroad daniel thank you for your comment for your uh, outlook of that uh, project and overview of that project, but so far we have a very uh, small number of cafes, uh, cafes and bars. Uh, you can visit these cafes uh, uh, just leaving the university. I really uh, liked uh, those uh, nice-looking cafes and bars, uh, and I really wanted to, to sit together with my friends. And uh, the city is just actively uh, uh, starts uh, developing, but uh, we are supposed to have double the number of students, and uh, students will uh, become uh, real uh, demanding. And uh, we have some people who are in charge of the commercial part, uh, and already we negotiated with some people who are going to open hospitals, restaurants, and other uh, commercial sites. And once those uh, concepts are being implemented, uh, you are invited. I have some kind of a provocative uh, uh, question. Uh, so we've been negotiating with the Silicon Valley. Uh, who th They are focused on the technological innovations and the technology of Internet. and. Uh, uh, what is uh, lacking in the Silicon Valley? There are very few women. And the Napolis may also become a city of, of males. Uh, we are working on that. Well, you know, it's uh, a very serious question. And in my viewpoint, uh, it has to be settled. We all try to invite investors to initiate some kind of an external flow, but uh, the city starts uh, living when uh, reproducing itself, and it is really essential how, the, how you do it. And uh, when I visited the kindergarten and uh, I familiarized myself, so myself with different uh, objects, and I realized that uh, the city is reproducing itself. You know, uh, I was asked, uh, I have to, uh, I have what to want to speak with the mayor. I have an idea of a startup. And at this point of time, I realized that the city is reproducing itself quite successfully. But there are, there are no children to be born in that city, but already we had the first wedding there. And uh, we lead uh, an ordinary life uh, from the perspective of the gender imbalance. So we are working on that. 
we're thinking it over and uh, we are negotiating with the uh, company's residents and they would like uh, to have uh, some kind of a call center and uh, ma mainly women uh, work there and we are all, always appreciative of these ideas and the Annapolis University uh, just designs uh, the faculties uh, with uh, females. Uh, yes, that is an essential topic. And I, I am working with the first startups born in the University of Annapolis. Already they have some uh, kind of, kind of a drive here. I have some kind of a provocative idea to the representatives of the city. And how many in cities of that type are necessitated for Russia? like uh, Tat the Republic of Tatarstan uh, from the oil and gas uh, context was turned onto the innovative IT contact. Novosibirsk, Tomsk, and we've heard that in Moscow the number of techno parks was doubled. And among those techno parks we have quite a number of venues to have a great potential. And not a single city will give uh, such uh, uh, benefits as the large uh, megapolis. And technoparks of Novosibirsk and Tomsk uh, are uh, of great value. And Tomsk is an innovative cluster. They have 20% uh, of students. And uh, Tomsk is a part of the specific economic zone. And the potential of Russia is real vast. And I think uh, that three or four projects of that type uh, in the foreseeable 10 years may be launched. And uh, we also have the Far East area. A new innovative cluster will be set up here for uh, robotics. And uh, really, when we speak about the Far East, uh, where we have the concentration of demand, it might work. And uh, we may have the concentration of labor resources. And this potential uh, will be absolutely uh, viable. How many uh, in Naples uh, are necessitated? Uh, altogether, we have. Uh, to have as many in a police as we uh, want to. Uh, we have the leading ones, and it could be three, four, then 10, and 20, and uh, yes, of course, uh, Moscow and Peter cannot be refit, but uh, small-sized towns uh, could be refit uh, quite successfully. And we really have uh, to understand uh, what kind of specialization we are talking about and what kind of competence uh, centers uh, uh, could be structured, uh, like Tomsk, etc. Probably we have to uh, uh, stay aloof of the mono uh, uh, monopolies. There should be some specific. Uh, uh, sector as a focal point. And it's hard to, to do something like Skolkova. Uh, so they have uh, a nanopolis, biopolis in China. Uh, so in the past, uh, we used to have uh, a t TV channel. And they were kind of a generalistic. Uh, the more channels we had, uh, uh, the better. We had uh, the uh, channel about football, about fishing, about uh, uh, culinary. And the same is true of the innovative centers. Uh, but uh, once we have them in abundance, it will be just natural to uh, uh, redistribute them. And it will be defined by the local demand and by the staff. And
And I would like to give the floor to our listeners. So if you have uh, any questions, you are welcome. We have time for two questions. Thank you. Microphone, please. Microphone, пожалуйста. I was involved in the design, and I am uh, also communicating with Gipprobor in Tomsk and Novosibirsk. Uh, so uh, I am a designer, and I am an architect, and I am a researcher. Uh, the the key trend is to concentrate uh, uh, and collaborate abroad. And uh, the uh, is also the expertise of Annapolis. Uh, so there was the strategy of Technopolis written just recently. And they identified 10 causes as to how uh, to develop uh, technopolices uh, successfully. We have not much time left, sorry. It's some kind of a compliment. And he said that all 10 uh, causes uh, work uh, when, they, uh, when there is a leader. And so we really have uh, to rely on the risk. Uh, so for example, we have a large university. And so what happens then? So some students leave there. What happens afterwards? Uh, so the development uh, of uh, this uh, place may uh, be a problem. How to fund uh, this follow-up development uh, of the town? And they also need uh, uh, real high standards of life. And uh, you are talking about cafe. That is a minimum minimum. That is nothing in comparison with other uh, benefits and international cooperation. I have uh, Google, I have Yandex, uh, and uh, uh, within uh, uh, two, Yandex and Google uh, didn't promise uh, uh, that uh, didn't promise me to that I might uh, reach this place. Okay, thank you very much. As to the creative cl cluster, they really need uh, uh, some uh, uh, space, but we are happy to have a leader, and our president has enough uh, strive uh, to manage several projects. Uh, and as to funding, uh, the government contributed a lot into the base uh, structure, and uh, really, uh, the investments were uh, vast onto the critical mass. And uh, the government is supporting us uh, so that the project reaches a turning point. And uh, also, we, they have uh, quite a vast expenditures onto the current infrastructure. We have federal and republican infrastructure. And the federation and the regions work together. So I used to work uh, within uh, this same uh, project uh, in other cities and towns. It's a good thing that we started uh, uh, from uh, the kindergarten. And uh, when a bride cannot uh, just uh, cook soup, uh, uh, she might uh, cook a pie, or vice versa. And so the creative uh, uh, cl uh, class are very demanding as uh, to these um, competitive benefits. Uh, 
But as to the fire station, it is an essential one. It becomes uh, the key object and uh, a key facility. Of course, we're going to have other facilities. And Marat is a person to know pretty well all these um, uh, competitive advantages. So we started from basic things. Uh, maybe someone, some, someone will criticize me. So very originally, in other places I worked for, they had uh, kindergartens uh, originally and uh, other social infrastructure facilities, but that is not suffice. Uh, so 35 minutes are necessitated uh, uh, to, go, to, to go to Kazan, to the airport, and uh, to cultural facilities of Kazan. As to the uh, access uh, facilitation. Yes, we are reforming the uh, transport environment. That is the bridge, uh, which is uh, an hour and 10 minutes. And uh, the bridge will turn this time into 25 minutes. But this is a matter of six or seven uh, years. Uh, and uh, so uh, we have uh, hmm? a horseshoe, uh, but the six or seven years are necessitated. And uh, so we uh, haven't uh, reflected these competitive advantages. And. Uh, as a part of this uh, creative cluster. But we have sensors at uh, the uh, uh, bins. Uh, and uh, there we have quite a number of uh, stations uh, to uh, fuel electric cars. Uh, and that, these are our competitive advantages as well. I would like to ask the distinguished uh, representative uh, of the audience, uh, what are those competitive advantages uh, of uh, Palo Alto? They only have the office of Facebook and they have a good sushi bar. We really have to construct it all ourselves. People are going there. Uh, what are the competitive benefits? But the term creative cluster uh, is uh, uh, not a coincidence, uh, and they uh, physically, uh, people are physically uh, leaving um, uh, the Silicon Valley to Boston, uh, Minneapolis, uh, and these are the millionaires. They are looking for the new places to spend money. Uh, we are discussing in the police there, and in my in my capacity of a moderator, uh, let me emphasize uh, that uh, programmers uh, uh, will be the working uh, class of the 21st century. We have to retain the creativeness uh, inherent uh, in the nature of the Russian engineer or Russian scholar. We have just two minutes left, and I would like to put a question to everybody. And Igor mentioned that he has a video, Anopolis uh, by the eyes of a child. Uh, let's uh, watch this video. As a, That is a positive one, and we have to be real tuned for the good weekend. Dear experts, will you please download this video? Please uh, give us some ideas on the competitive advantage. Yeah, and we already love for this place. My dad works at the IT company. Every day he rides a bike to his modern and cool office. I really like my place cool. There's lots of place for playing and studying. Also, we have a huge swimming pool and a very good playground. When I grow up, I will create high technology like my dad. I will enter the university in our city. It's the first university in Russia you can study computer science. 
I heard that lots of very talented students are already studying at this university. There's a big ski resort close to our home. Every year it has lots of skiers and snowboarders. We often spend our holidays there. There's a golf club, shooting range, and we're a tasty food and a beautiful countryside. We live in a wonderful city which has everything we need, such as sport facilities, shopping and medical centers. Come to visit us in Annapolis. You will like it. Спасибо большое всем, кто. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. My name is Sergei Mitrofanov. I was the moderator of the section dedicated to Innopolis. And it will become the window to innovations and the gateway to innovations from Russia and uh, to Russia. And have a good weekend.